Welcome to the stratigraphic interpretation presentation. Elise proposes you a video illustrating the second stratigraphy tool available in PaleoScan. We'll see how to use and create a Wheeler diagram and the using a specific attribute to delineate sequences, knowing that well data can be used to refine sequence boundaries. Lastly, we'll see how to extract 3D objects from the stratigraphic analysis. Our specificity in the stratigraphic analysis is a widowed domain built in the three dimensions, allowing a 3D navigation through this domain. Sequence boundaries can be defined by combining attribute information with well data. Everything interpreted from our stratigraphic viewer can be extracted and modeled in 3D. The stratigraphic tool is available in extension, advanced interpretation. By activating it, we can display access to the sequence stratigraphy module. The first button is used to create the stratigraphic viewer. We have to select a 3D model, which will be used as input of this view here. And we can now uh, define a, a background attribute. F to explain you how this stratigraphic viewer works, we can select uh, the 3D model uh, as well in order to show you how we can uh, transform the time domain to the Willard domain. So we can easily switch from the time domain to the Willard domain by pressing a, a shortcut, which is T. Uh, and as you can see here, since the 3D model is composed of relative geological ages, the Willard domain corresponds to the flattening of all these ages. And the gaps correspond to yardages of deposits. Now we can display the seeing attribute in the stratigraphic viewer corresponding to the vertical derivative of the 3D model. The red information corresponds to the, the maximum values of seeing. And by displaying the Wheeler domain, we can see easily that the yatesis of deposits corresponds to the maxima of seeing. This will help you to define the sequences in this stratigraphic viewer. Now we can display the seismic information in the stratigraphic viewer in order to define, to delineate the system tracks or the sequences by using the 3D model in the background. So we have to uh, activate uh, and create a new sequence so by giving a name, I can click OK. And now we'll uh, create the sequences by using the 3D model in the background. The green line corresponds to uh, relative ages uh, directly uh, coming from the 3D model. And by using these uh, relative ages, we are able to define sequence boundaries like that. So really easy to do, just have to uh, double click in, the, in this view to uh, select specific relative ages in order to define sequences. Once the sequences are, are created, delineated, we can select uh, sequences in order to um, give name. So each sequence can be um, renamed with a specific uh, age, so the Paleogene, the late Cretaceous in this case, which correspond to the, the shulk. So here is the early Cretaceous. Once all the names of the sequences are uh, defined, we can uh, display them thanks to the stratigraphic column available from the property of this view. So by using the cross-navigation mouse mode, you can see the stratigraphic column displayed in the right uh, part of the view. And each time uh, we move the cross-navigation uh, cursor, we can see the, the column updated according to the specific location. Now we can show you how to define sequence boundary as unconformity. So we have to select a sequence boundary by using the selection mouse mode and go in the property to activate the unconformity option. And after that, we can customize 
this specific boundary in order to highlight it. So in this case, we have an unconformity uh, at the top of the late Cretaceous, uh, at the late Permian, and at the late Carboniferous. And you can see the st stratigraphic column uh, represents also this unconformity symbol. Now we'll see how to define what we call uh, the lithology symbol in Paleoscan for each sequence. So different symbols are available here. So in this case, we can define a specific symbol for the shulk. And we can also play uh, with the color of the layer in order to uh, define the, the representation of uh, each ages with common uh, color and symbols. So now all the layers are defined with a specific symbol and a specific color in order to make the stratigraphic analysis uh, in detail. We can uh, combine the well data to the strat stratigraphic viewer in order to refine the sequence boundaries position. So we have to use um, an arbitrary line uh, to do so. So here we have to select this line and uh, this arbitrary line trajectory will be used in the stratigraphic viewer. So we have to define uh, an attribute to display it in the stratigraphic view here. So this, uh, this stratigraphic viewer uh, represents the, this arbitrary line along the wells. And we can now open the log viewer with the acoustic impedance information in order to combine, to really combine well data and stratigraphic analysis. So as you can see in the stratigraphic view, we can um, uh, display the, the wells and the logs are available uh, in the right part uh, of the workspace. Now uh, I'm just displaying the acoustic impedance logs for each well in the stratigraphic view. We have to play with some parameters in order to uh, uh, improve the display of the logs. Okay, now we can open uh, the the markers uh, in 3D. These markers will help us to refine the, the sequence boundary locations vertically. So thanks to this well-top information, we'll be able to, to see and make a QC of the sequence uh, delineation. We can now see the well markers in, uh, in the stratigraphic viewer and by displaying the names of the well markers, we can very well see them in this viewer and we'll use uh, this information to adjust everything. And as in the common stratigraphic viewer, we can switch to the time domain, from the time domain to the Willard domain. For the sequence boundaries adjustment, we will work from the time domain. So let's go back to the seismic information and we can now show the stratigraphic object, meaning the stratigraphic uh, sequences. And now we will uh, analyze the difference vertically between the, the position of the sequence boundaries and the well tops. So now we can select a sequence boundary and uh, play with this uh, arrow to adjust them vertically. So here we have a difference, so we can now uh, go down to, um, to fit with the, with the well tops information. So uh, all, the, all the sequence boundaries can be adjusted in detail by zooming in in the stratigraphic view in order to have a best view of the position. So here we can continue the refinement and switch uh, to different relative ages to fit as best as possible with the well information.
And now we can display again the well names and the well markers names. So once the sequence uh, are created, so that means when we define the top and bottom of each sequence and when uh, the sequence boundaries are refined thanks to the well data, we can save the sequence as a, as a specific object in the database stored in under the sequence tab of the project folder. So now we will uh, focus on the specific level which is the early Permian corresponding to the reservoir level in this uh, data set. Select this specific reservoir level and we will compute the ISO core of this layer. So by defining several parameters we can uh, easily uh, display the ISO core map in a horizon viewer and uh, here you can see the ISO core with this specific color scale. And uh, as you can see, by playing with the color contrast, we can quickly identify the sick parts of this layer represented in, in blue, in this case. Now the aim will be to uh, generate uh, or to convert this sequence as a 3D object. So by using um, an option from the sequence stratigraphy module, we can uh, create the layer corresponding of the reservoir, uh, reservoir level. And the reservoir layer is now displayed in 3D. And by displaying the seismic, we can see its intersection with the seismic directly from 3D. We can now generate a horizon stack composed of a horizon corresponding to the sequence boundaries of this uh, stratigraphic viewer. So we have to go in this option, new horizon stack from sequence. And you can see here the number of uh, layer uh, boundaries are automatically defined in this interface. We just have to select a attribute, in this case uh, the Z value, but we can also define any kind of attribute mapped on this horizon stack. And after giving a name and after clicking on Run, PaleoScan will generate a, a, a stack of horizons corresponding uh, exclusively uh, to the, the sequence boundaries. The aim is to scan the volume according to the sequence defined manually in the stratigraphic view. So by navigating through the, the horizon stack, we can switch from the, the boundaries of the sequences. And here we, ca we can see the Z uh, value information. We can now use a tool to quantify the difference between mm. horizon generated from model and the well uh, marker information. This tool is the well, uh, well QC table. So by selecting wells and the corresponding uh, uh, markers, we are able to, um, to display a, a table with the, with the vertical difference between uh, stratigraphic information and well information. So here is the table. We can, we can select horizon stack in order to compute this vertical difference. So by selecting the horizon stack generated uh, from the sequence, we can uh, easily search the horizon, the horizons uh, corresponding to uh, the well marker. And now we can hide the strati object. So PaleoScan uh, found the horizons uh, corresponding to the well tops and we can see their intersection in the seismic view. And now from this table, we can easily navigate by clicking on all the values. The clicking makes uh, automatically a cross navigation between, between this table and the seismic view. So vertical difference, the values corresponding to the vertical difference can be easily uh, displayed thanks to uh, a color um, information 
red means uh, there is a let's say a big difference and green uh, means uh, we are close to the marker and now we have um, quantified information regarding the difference in this video we saw the wheeler transform with all its inter interactive customization tools the easy way to display uh, the attributes such as thinning or seismic is helpful to build uh, stratigraphic sequences thanks to how cross navigation uh, well data can be combined to the stratigraphic view to refine sequence analysis and make a QC of the stratigraphic interpretation. Finally, sequences and their uh, boundaries can be 3D modeled for a better, a better under understanding of deposits. Thank you for your attention. You can watch more videos on our website or on uh, our YouTube channel.